and I thought, well, I wonder what the wiring is. I wonder what the instructions are. I wonder if um, I have to hire somebody. I wonder if it needs a plug. No worries. No plug, no outlet, no light, no problem. Leave it to Bell and Howe to bring this a, are you ready for this? a wireless ceiling light that looks like it's been wired in, that has the most incredible, bright, gorgeous, soft, warm light, has a remote control, but even better than that, it's motion activated. So when you're going up that dark star stairwell, or maybe it is in that beautiful closet, but you didn't hire that electrician to add that extra, you know, flush mount light. It could be the attic, it could be the basement, it could be a wardrobe or, or um, uh, an area in your bathroom and an office, anywhere you need light, Bell and Howell to the rescue and Chad Allen to the rescue. I'm obsessed with this. Yes. The price point is $19.99 with free shipping and handling. And I've got to just tell you, I did a little research, Chad, before the show. Okay. This was the lowest price that I could find anywhere. Oh, by far. By far. So yeah. I think that's why a lot of us have been picking up multiples. I already made my purchase this week and I wanted to make sure that you get yours too. Yes. I mean, in fact, Valerie, you don't, maybe you don't know this. When I say my face is going to be out there with the product, Bell and Howell, lower the price. It's because <laughs> I don't want to have bad sales. I want you guys to have a great deal. That's what we're talking about. Now I could put this on motion mode. We're going to lower the lights here in the studio, maybe a little down look just to give you an idea. Motion mode, when you turn the on switch, one one time it will come on for five seconds so you know that it's in motion mode and then when you move past it it will automatically come on when it's dark never when it's light outside okay I'll flip the button because you do get a remote three minutes five minutes or 15 minute timer built in we put this by the front door we just put it on a little nail but we are giving you five command strips and your screws and mollies to actually mount it keep in mind it's mounted like this but it could be mounted you know on the ceiling or under a shelf you can mount it, giving you up lighting as well. But where does it matter? It's decorative, but it's also functional, okay? So as I walk in the door with groceries or the dog leash, maybe with the dog who's pulling me through the door, right? Wait, do you, are you spying on me? Yes, I know what happens to you. My little <laughs> one who only weighs like eight pounds, she's a little sturdy bird, and she will tug and pull. So the door opens, and what happens? And then you're like, oh, I'm oh, like, oh, yes. oh, and then there's shoes in the way. Right. This light would automatically come wow. on for you at the nighttime. You know where else I think people are going to love it? the closet mm -hmm. because it does really helps you separate your blacks from your blues when you're talking about shoes navies from blacks <laughs> I right if i didn't have light this today <laughs> in the in the styling room um i might have had a wardrobe malfunction yes. but no worries because this is honestly and it's yes. the easiest thing because you can even put it in furniture or places where there is no outlet or there is no special wiring right and because it's so light and we give you the command strips you don't have to drill or screw into your nice awesome. wardrobe i'm going to turn this off i'm going to set it right here in front of you I have nothing in my hands. There's no trickery. Okay. The one in the closet is on motion sensing mode. Ready? Three, two, one. I open it. It automatically. Wow. You see how quick it knew right there. It came right on. So smart. Now I can find my. Oh, I only own two pants and two shirts. That's all I ever own. You're right? a minimalist. So I'm a minimalist, and I can fit that in there. However, let's. I'm going to challenge you. If you can afford to spend forty dollars. Mm -hmm. How nice does a second mm. one look, right? And now I have up lighting, down lighting, and with the little windows, it's giving me lighting all the way around. That's what, that's what I loved. It wasn't like just a down no. lighting, like it's only pointing at your at the floor. It's giving Boom. you that surround lighting. I love the fact that it's motion activated. I want you to think about those dark areas in your home that you don't get to enjoy, or maybe you're fumbling around to find the light switch, yep. but it only lights half of the area. I have a light in my pantry, but the reason I bought this Bell & Howell motion sensor light is because when I walk into the pantry, I usually have my hands full, Chad, right? I've got groceries, I've got dog food. And the last thing I wanna do is fumble around and try to find the light switch. Exactly. If I had thought about it, I would have asked my contractor when I did the remodel, hey, could you put an overhead light in here? Could it be motion sensor? Do you know how expensive that would be for me to go back and ask them to do? Whether you have a 400 you know, square foot studio apartment, whether you have a ginormous multi-thousand, you know, square foot house this is going to be essential anywhere you need added light and most importantly a light that's always there for you that turns on this is actually battery operated it takes four c batteries but it comes on and it only stays on as long as you need it Correct. to right yeah so you have a three minute a five minute and a 15 minute timer on your remote control 
When it's just in motion sensing mode, it will stay on for 20 seconds only. I love it. If, as long as there's no motion, it will go off. If you're always in front of it and moving around, it'll stay on the entire time you're there. Right. Uh, but here's the before. Well, there's a fireplace here. This could be any dark corner of your house, which just gives me a good example in the studio. This is two units, of course. I'm doing up lighting to light the art. This is just a nice way to show you the 300 lumens filling the space. Can I just point out that's not hot? Oh, it's not. No, it's LED. <laughs> right, thank you. No uh, heat, <laughs> no energy. You're not, your cost of electricity is not going up, right? Right, no, not at all. And in fact, I mean, I can put it right on my face. It doesn't matter. It doesn't get wow. hot. And so that's going to give You're you... You're already hot enough, Chad Ooh, Allen. I like this show. <laughs> um, it is 300 lumens, okay? It is a 3,500 Kelvin, and the, that's the temperature of the light. It's more towards incandescent light than the stark daylight type mm -hmm. of white, okay? Mm -hmm. And you get the little windows here, because you can see it's illuminated all the way around. Gorgeous. And going up. But I didn't mount this, right? I could just take this and set it down just for the evening. I could take it out to the, my, maybe point. I'm having an outdoor dinner. It's not permanently wired into no. one specific spot, which no. again, if you've ever looked at a, a spot in your home, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you for that, where you're like, I wonder what it would be like to have light there. Get this home, it's $10 and free shipping and handling. You cannot beat our price point. Anywhere I looked, it was double and sometimes even triple to be able to find Bell & Howe, the name and the brand that is an Academy Award winning brand for lighting right. specifically. They've been around for over 100 years. One of my favorite things, and it looks like any other decorative light in your home. So it matches perfectly. It goes back to all your other uh, home decor kind of like solutions, if you will. And what's in Emphatically, probably my favorite thing is that you get to customize where you want it. The motion sensor automatically turns on. You're getting it home for $10. If for some reason you don't love it, you could send it back within 30 days. That works for all of our great products here at HSN. Think about mom. Think about dad. Think about maybe that basement or that attic. It's cold right now. That's right. Right? To go into a spot where you're a little unknown. Maybe there may be a critter <laughs> who's like camping out, right, in, in a basement or not. I've, I've had that situation happen before. If there's not light when you go in there, you've got the flashlight, mm -hmm. you've got like a spray or a tool or something, you're like, <laughs> I just want to so light good. you. I'm gonna follow Valerie around, around oh, all you're day. You're hired. It's a very flattering you're light, hired. by the way. And you notice in the video, the woman had it on either side of the mirror. <gasps> That's so sweet. Because smart. you want light coming, well, you want it a little high, and then you want it coming right at you when you're talking about getting ready, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn these off for a second because HSN has installed, like maybe you did at your house, decorative lighting under the cabinet it looks great. I'm sure it was more than $19.99. I can almost guarantee that. We put our light there. When I turn it on, it you can't even see the other lights, right? It's functional lighting. You don't want it to be dark where you're cutting, slicing, dicing. While we're right here, though, let me show you this. You never have to unmount it when you do need to change the batteries. All you're going to do is just take your hand, twist it, it comes down. That part there is always mounted. It's always going to be there, right? See that? It's always gonna be there with your command strips. When you do change those 4C batteries, all you do is take it, give it a twist, it locks right back into place. That's all I had to do. There was a customer who thought maybe you have to unmount it or you know, unscrew it. No, not at all. You're just gonna take your hand, grab it, change the batteries, put it right back up on the base and twist it and So it's it. no longer, how many people does it take to unscrew the light bulb, <laughs> right? You know, that running joke. Right, Here's no. what I want you to do. You can see, I think we had a counter up there of how many of these emotion activated censored lights that we've sold. And it is, it's astounding. I can't read it, it's like 16,000. Okay, we have free shipping and handling. This is what we call a hot deal. So we wanna make sure that we bring you the biggest names in retail. This is retail therapy. Where do you say, oh, I always get so frustrated. I trip over the shoes. My coffee bar doesn't illuminate. I'm always feeling like I'm stumbling around in the dark. Um, maybe it's at your front entry point. Maybe it's in your bathroom. Maybe you wish you could afford to hire the electrician. You are the designer of your home and you don't have to hardwire this in. It literally runs off batteries and because it's only turning on for a period of time when it senses motion, it is not going to die every other week. I've bought some things where I'm like, oh gosh, batteries, really? No, this gives you the heavy duty batteries. Um, that's what you're gonna put in them. And because it's only being operated without using electricity, so it's not adding to your power bill, 
it actually is going to save you money in the long term as well. And That's let right. me ask you this. What if like, what if my curtains are blowing around or, you know, like, I don't know, a car drives by the window. Is this automatically going to turn on no, every single time? I could nerd out about this because motion sensing has changed over the years. Bell & Howell is now doing passive infrared motion. What does that mean? A temperature change. So if the if the if the plant is blowing because the AC vent is really strong, your motion sensing won't That's go awesome. off. It's got to be a change in temperature, like a body or an animal walking past it, to for it to come on. That we made a big deal about that with our outdoor lighting when the trees were blowing or animals were walking by, you know things like that. But inside your house. When your cat runs by, it will come on because there's a temperature change, but you don't have to worry about the miscellaneous things. Hey, by the way, Dan, do you see this down here? We have this little this little nightlight coming up as well. This is our surge protector with a nightlight. It's called the wall power. You get two of those. That's coming up. It looks brilliant. I can decorate your whole house with Bell and & Howell That's and true. give you that great warm lighting that is flattering. Okay, so when you come in the house now, we didn't trip, right, because now we're illuminated. The next place is where you put your coat. Right, ah, where you get ready, right. where you look for the clothing. Yep. I always say this, I have a, a, a ty I live in an apartment. I have a small walk-in closet. Walk-in's a big word for me. And so uh, the clothes, once they're in there, you can't see the clothes because the light is, cut, you, the light is blocking the clothes or the clothes are blocking the light. When I open this, it automatically comes on. That's brilliant. And so if I had double stacks of clothes, mm -hmm. I could even put one down here mm -hmm. and light from the bottom mm -hmm. and the top, right? I can give you two ways to do your clothes. I could put it on the wall, Val, and yeah. have it shining directly at the clothes. Yeah, no, I'm thinking yeah. of so many places, whether, because again, this is not a permanent fixture. You can screw it into a wall or a piece of furniture or just use the uh, strong 3M tape, mm -hmm. but you can also take it with you. Maybe you're in a rental. Yep. Right? If you're in a rental, you know for a fact that was not customized for you. You are constantly <laughs> looking around and being like, why isn't there a light switch right. right here? You can add that under cabinet lighting if you want that. Or maybe it's that dark. I used to have a stairwell that was like, it was a closet underneath the stairwell and around the corner. Do you think I'm going to go in there no. without a flashlight and like, you know, a strobe light? If I could go in there and the light automatically turned on, I could see all of my Christmas decorations. So here's what's happening. We are busy. This is on sale for under $20. If you want to Google this Bell & Howe, make sure you're looking for the exact right one. This is that nice, beautiful 360 wireless motion sensor activated with the remote. You're not going to find it for under $20. We give you a flex pay. Use any major credit card. This is my favorite part. Buy as many as you can today. I can't tell you when that free shipping and handling is going to expire, but I can tell you it's activated right now. And Chad is just giving... I'm like, I'm, you're hired. You're going to need to walk around with me at all times. But with all, well over 16650 that have been sold. I just think of how many people are saving so much money that they're not calling someone to go, hey, could you come over and give me a quote on putting a light right. in my foyer or my closet or my bathroom? I love that it almost looked like sconces at yes, the front. Yes, you can do it by yourself. We yeah. put that one on a nail. We give you the five command strips. We give you the script. We give you everything you need. You supply the batteries, but they're C, so they last a long time. LEDs don't get hot, and you yeah, can move it. Exactly. If you don't like where you put it the first time, you can just literally move it around. I definitely think one for the closet and one for the front doors where you start. But if you have a basement with basement stairs or an oh attic gosh, with yes. attic stairs, oh, it just makes sense. What about a garage? I get yes. up in the middle of the night to go into my garage to get in my yep. car. Do you think... I I bring like 14 bags to work with me. I'm not gonna lie. I have my, I'm like the bag lady, right? <laughs> to be able to walk out of my home into my garage and have that light automatically turn on. I think about my puppies. I think about, we have coyotes in the neighborhood. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so every time I open the garage, I'm always like, please there no, let there not be a coyote there. It could be critters, this could be somewhere wherever you have that dark crevice. It is such a good looking light. Mm -hmm. People are not even gonna notice. They're just gonna be like, wow, did you, did you get new curtains? Why does your <laughs> house look so bright and beautiful? Like lighting is essential and it's actually one of the easiest design decor things that you can do, but yep. not at this affordable price. So I hope you guys are picking up multiples. $10 gets at home, 870. 007 get is the item number and by the way it's going to bring you joy it which will. is our big question of the day oh. how do you spread kindness how do you spread that joy chad allen always brings in great little gadgets and gadgets and things that just enhance our lives yes. and lighting is one of those things so when we talk about um which way are we going I think we're going to go to the wall way? power okay. yeah when we talk about um lighting right that did not need a plug but now